Good morning, afternoon, evening, and night, everybody. My name is Osprey, and we are back on World of Warcraft, and this time with voiceover. What the fuck is going on here? And if you don't really recognize this particular character, because it's not a Nightborn Warlock, what is this? This is my main character. This is Osborne. This is my Death Knight that I have played since Wrath of the Lich King. He's gone through name changes. He's gone through one race change now, because I really wanted to have an upright orc. And yeah. We're in the final weeks coming up to the next expansion of Battle for Azeroth. Uh, where you're going to have to get used to this kind of uh, style of video again. So sorry if you preferred the silent versions, but there you go. And uh, there is a new quest series in the game. So let's go have a look see, shall we? And hopefully my graphic settings will have saved this time. Because they like undoing themselves for some reason. Not sure what's causing that. I'm also really hoping audio levels are okay, because I think this is the first time I'm doing WoW with OBS and not using Audacity. Possibly. I'm not sure. If it lets me log in, anyway. There it is. my chambers in the Undercity, where we can discuss our next move discreetly. Ooh, spoopy Sylvanas. Osborne, there are important matters I would like to discuss with you, but discretion is of the utmost importance. Meet me in my chambers in the Undercity, where I can assure our privacy has not been compromised. Ensure that you are not followed. Orgmar has become riddled with S... Is it S1 or SI? SI7, yeah, it would, would be that. Spies. It would seem that the ki that king... Yeah, it would seem that... That king and... <laughs> oh dear. It would seem that king... It would seem that, that King Anduin and Matthias Shaw, that is correct, there should maybe be a comma, <laughs> are desperate to know what our next move is. How admirable. Well then. And apologies in advance if you see anything possibly offensive in the chat over here, but uh, not much I can really do about that. Those are different people, and I can't be bothered covering up a big section of my screen. <laughs> Alrighty. I actually need to turn this down a smidge. 40 is too much for me. It was 40 because I was playing Fortnite, I think. Anyway. To Org... Uh, not Orgmar, to Undercity! Yes! Uh, is that the Undercity? Yes, that's the Undercity. Not a portal I take very often, so forgive me if I am a bit slow to find some things. <laughs> oh dear. Oof. They have a mark on my desk. That's annoying. But they're relevant! Right, so we need to go all the way around. Fuck you now. Do you like my lovely mount, by the way? It's lovely. I like it. It's purple. We No, just a bit further. There it is. Looks I'm not the only one. So this week is called the War of Thorns, apparently, so... I know it has something to do with Ashenvale, but that's about the extent of it. Greetings, War Chief. We are the Forsaken. Glad we you can make it so quickly, Osborne. Who stands in our way? Mm okay. Dark. Silithus. That has been the name of the game. Or rather, what that is what I wanted the Alliance to believe. Make no mistake, Azerite is just as powerful as it is rumored to be, but I have bigger plans in mind. High Lord, High Overlord Sarafang is leading an army towards Silithus. By now, he should be in the Northern Barrens, and I want you to intercept him and notify him that the preparations are complete. Preparations for what, you ask? Why, we are going to capture the World Tree. What are we Oof. slaves to this torment? You would ask a question of me, Osborne. I didn't know this would be a thing. War Chief, may I ask why we want to capture Teldrassil? Time is not a luxury we possess, but I respect your desire to know more. Sylvanas points to Silithus on the map. This has forever altered the balance of power in Azeroth. Deposits of Azerite are being located across the world, Osborne, though we do not yet understand its full potential. It is clear that this substance has vast destructive capability. What will war look like in twenty years? In a hundred? How can the Horde hope to defend its borders if the Alliance controls the flow of Azerite? It is uncertain, War Chief. 
What is certain is that the Alliance will use Darnassus as a safe harbor for funneling Azerites into the Eastern Kingdoms, and Dwin Rin will, bu will build powerful new weapons, and sooner or later he will turn them up upon our homelands. First he will strike at the Undercity and Silvermoon, then his gaze will fall upon Kalimdor. For the sake of the Horde's future, we must be first. We must be the first to act. By occupying Darnassus, we control the flow of Azerite and ensure it cannot be used against us. The Alliance will dare. Uh, the Alliance will dare not attack its own city for fear of harming its civilians. With a single stroke, we will guarantee generations of peace. The Night Elves will fight us at every last step. The Kaldori will defy our occupation unless we break their spirits. We must inflict a blow that will show them what is at stake. They need to lose something, someone, in whom they have absolute trust and faith. A symbol of hope. The Dark Lady narrows her eyes. I'm getting chills right now because I'm seeing that line. Fuck. Malfurion Stormrage must die. Oh, shit. Oh, hi, Ben. Oh, everyone's here. Apart from Sapphire, of course. Whew, right. Over the barons. Well, the easiest way to do that, actually. The easiest way to do that might be this. Let's just have a quick little look see. Malfurion Storm Rage must die. Bloody hell. That is quite the statement, because he's supposed to be quite a fucking powerful druid. Uh, if we manage to kill Malfurion, then fuck me. Uh, right, if we go to Hellfire. And then we go to Org. Nailed it. Uh, if, although in fairness, it probably would have been just as fast if I had just gone to use my Death Gate or just gone to Dalaran. Hearthstone, but never mind. We're here, and I'm going the wrong way. We need to get to the Northern Barrens, so let's just over here. And apologies in advance if weird noises are being picked up. My window is open because it's still summer; it gets hot, and there's lots of noisy kids around. I want to punch them all in the face, but there you go. There you go. Wait, what's that? Zeppelin to war. Oh, okay. Now she's now show. There's actually icons with the Zeppelins. Interesting. Oh, just transportation in general. Fair enough. Does that mean there's one in. No, there's not one in Thunderbluff. There should be. But fair enough. Yeah, we got uh, our two new zones are on the map, eh? Cold Terrace and Zandalar. As of recording this, I think it was yesterday or the day before, the uh, Warbringer video for Jaina came out, and my god, it's awesome. The tune is fucking great, the shanty. It's so good, I love it. I'm curious if the next ones will be sung as well. It doesn't seem like it would fit with Sylvanas, or even, well, Queen of Shower Echo would probably fit. I imagine her people have sung some of her. But there you go. Oof. Well, here's these people. Oh, it's not the time. Sarfang, the War Chief commands. I've been awaiting your arrival, Osborne. A quick diversion. I have halted our march until I received word that we were ready to divert. What comes next will be a coordinated, synchronized attack on key outposts in Ashenvale. If we act quickly, we will destroy the Kaldori's defenses and clear a path all the way to the Dark Shore. Stormwind will surely send reinforcements to stop us. We have to conquer Teldrassil before they arrive. I will divert the troops. Meet with our operative, Lorash, outside Astronar for further instructions. Soldiers of the Horde, ready your blades. Today, we march on the Kaldori. For the Horde, look to Words and things and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me while I snivel. Oof, there's some noisy children I'm hearing in the stairwell. 
I pray to God that they don't go outside anytime soon. Because, ooh. That's gonna get annoying. So, what comes next? Um. Where are we? Oh, this one. Okay, I've seen about this one. I have seen what happens with this. There's some things I've, I'm aware of, like I know that at some point we get an, uh, not a gnome chopper. What would it be? A helicopter thing of some sort. I don't remember what the name is. And we shoot wisps for some reason? I don't really know. And I'm aware of this particular one where we assassinate people, basically. And there are some easter eggs to, that I want to try and look for. And some of them kind of... Well, one of them at least is uh, you have to assassinate a civilian. Which is... Uh, not, not the nicest thing that someone could do. They have gone outside, for the record. That's kind of annoying. But never mind. Kids will be kids, I suppose. And it is summer for them. Summer vacation here in Scotland. Until next month. Ooh, jeez. Looking at the date. As of recording, it's the 25th of July. Less than a month now. I'm going to be 26. Fuck me. Alrighty. Hello there, Lorash. I do so enjoy my job. Okay. Sarfang says it's time. Excellent. Hundreds of rogues have already attacked the Cal have already attacked Caldari outpost in Ashenvale. On my signal, they will begin the next phase of the war, sowing chaos. Is that? Mm, yeah. My colleague died not far from here, Osborne, so I could use your help. If we stay out of sight, the town won't even know it's under attack before we have all of its guards down. I have a poison that will kill them quickly and silently if you signal to me which targets are safe to attack without the no without being noticed. I will put them down. What do you say? Let's teach these well, I mean, I don't really have much choice. To begin their assault. This fire burns with purple smoke. They should see it rise above the trees soon. All right. After you, champion. You mark the safe targets. I'll bring them down. Okay, okay. Can I? Nope, that's a left click macro. Whoopsie daisy. Ah, huh. what are you doing? I need to get closer. Come on. Mush. Okay, you take out him. Or her, rather. My bad. You are not a guard. Ah, see. D do I want to do this? I'm going to look the other way on that one. I can't say I've killed a man in his sleep before. Fair enough. It wasn't as interesting as I was thinking it would be. There you go. Yeah, you can assassinate that one. And that one. You are not someone to assassinate. I'll show you the front. I'm not. Hmm. I don't know. Right. Uh. Did this work? Commander, she just collapsed. Anticipate your partner's next move. Sister, are you okay? I didn't mean to strike so hard. Are you also one to us? Yep, yes, you are. Uh, 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 no, no. This one belongs to me. <laughs> right. Nothing quite as satisfying as taking out an alliance commander, and so easily. Well then. I'm out of range. That should do it. How does it feel to single-handedly sack an entire city? Um, well, I wouldn't say it's a city. 
Shall we get to work? There you go. We did it. Hopefully the other outposts will f fared as well as we did. My end of the bargain is done, Orc. I'm going to check on the other outposts to make sure none of my brothers and sisters are in trouble. Meet the war chief and inform her that Astronar has been secured. If everything else has gone according to plan, she should be well on her merry way. I don't know why I put Mary in there. Oh, and try not to hog all the glory, yeah? Lorash smokes at you. Why would I, why would I hog the glory for that nonsense? I don't know how I feel about all this, to be honest. But I suppose there's Battle for Azeroth fighting the Alliance. What joy is for now. This curse? <laughs> I don't believe for a second this, this is a uh, faction v faction expansion. I, I, I'm positive this is Battle for Azeroth. Alliance versus Horde. And then it's going to turn into Battle for Azeroth against the Old Gods. Because let's face it, with Queen Ashara, an Old God minion? Yeah. Come on. A timely rival. That was perfectly executed strike. That was a perfectly executed strike, Osborne. Ooh. Zoramgar outpost. Sarfang shall establish our troops here, now that Astronar is ours. I shall continue my hunt for the only creature that can stop our march to victory. Malfurion Stormrage. Our next order of business we will be to establish a foothold at the base of Darkshore. Commander Grimfang of the Zoramgar outpost should be able to accommodate an incoming army. Inform him of our arrival and, and ensure the necessary preparations are made. Okay. Let me mount up again. Where are we going? All the way over there. Let's go then, shall we? So I believe after this... There should be some new world quests available for me. I think, anyway. Whether or not I'll include those, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll run through a couple of them in the video. We'll see. Depends if there's time, what time looks like, anyway. I'm recording this as just a big bulk thing, rather than in 30 minute segments. Ish, 30-ish minutes. So... Hopefully things work out alright anyway. I'm not sure how long this is actually going to take me. But there is also a week 2, which you're going to have to wait a week to see. And then week 3, I think, is when something big happens. If you don't already know what's happening, I'm not going to tell you what's, what's going to happen. Because I want it to be a nice surprise. Alrighty, let's talk to you. Speak. The war chief needs rations and lodging for an incoming army. We're a small outpost, but I will gather what we have. The war chief and her army will want nothing. Will want for nothing. I swear it. Loktar Ogar. And Commander Grimfang. Blood and thunder. In Dizzle. Commander, the war chief asks that you prepare. Bleh. The war chief asks that you prepare your outpost for an incoming army. Zoramgar will stand ready. For the horde, I was about to say bye. I have trouble reading sometimes. I, I, I don't, de I don't deny that. <laughs> War Chief Sylvanas Windrunner requires. Why do you have to use it? Uh, requires your aid repairing her soldiers' weapons. My forge is always ready, Osborne. I don't fully understand why you have to keep changing the title. Like everyone knows, the War Chief is Sylvanas. Uh, just go up to everyone and say, the war chief needs this, the war chief needs that, the war chief needs this and the other thing too. You don't need to include names, come on. Anyway, ow, crack my leg. Me rather. What the hell? This old god shut here. When was there old god shit here? I don't remember seeing that before. I didn't even see that on my nightboard when I was leveling through here. What the fuck? Did I? I don't remember. Huh. Well then. Okay. Is this place still burning? Because this might be where I want to go look. For this other thing. It might not be burning anymore. No, it's still burning. That's fine. Right, before we go talk to Sylvanas, I'm sure. I'm sure that there's something else going on. 
Maybe it's not here. Maybe it's actually at the end game. Hmm. Because it was just so funny. Oh, nothing's on fire enough, frankly. This is the closest place to it. But no. In fairness, the picture I saw could have also been staged. Doesn't matter anyway. War Chief. It is done. Oh, that's sorry. not the War Chief. That's terrifying. Brother of Broxigar. Should have noticed that. <laughs> uh, a force this large has not moved in Ashenvale in a long time. I hope Zor Zormgar is ready to accommodate the might of the Horde. Doesn't seem all that mighty, if I'm be honest, but there you go. Can't take them all, I guess. Do you see all the wisps about? I've seen this once before, when the demon Archimond was felled by the sting of hundreds, no, thousands of wisps. This can only mean one thing. Malfurion has beckoned the, aids of it, the aid of his ancestors. The Warchief has already taken a scouting party ahead to Darkshire to intercept him. Please, Osborne, find the Warchief and see if she has caught her prey. We have secured all of Ashenvale, but we must keep the pressure on. Without honor. Well, yeah, true. Without honor, we have nothing. How much honor is there in attacking Teldrassil? Taking the Night Elves home. Like, imagine if they, the tree still gave them immortality and we just take their home from them. Granted, in that sense... Are they really? Were they really immortal? Properly immortal? Like, could they be killed or not? Because then they could actually fight us off with that with reckless abandon. Like, that would actually be a horrifying army to fight. One that never dies. Even the undead die. The forsaken. But there you go. Right. Where are you, Sylvanas? Somewhere down here. Oh, hello. There's Malfurion. You will come no further, Banshee Queen. Soldiers, no! Do not rush the You idiots. Ah, fools! At least now we know how dangerous the wisps can be. I know, right? That's quite a wall that you've got there, Malfurion. I have no time for games. I've been tracking Malfurion's every mo movement. The Lord of the Forest cannot hope to outmatch one who served as the Ranger General of Silvermoon. Careful, Osborne. The forest is still brimming with Stormrage's forces. Look out behind you. Ugh. Oh no. I could have read that with a bit more emotion, but... All in all, <laughs> there are just a couple forces. Sit to me if you must, this is too easy. So weird not hitting millions. We used to hit for millions, now we hit for hundreds. Sometimes thousands. Yeah, you piss off. What are we if not slaves to this torment? Malfurion will soon return with an army. Well, I guess we need to get to him first. The Caldrai have finally halted our progress. In a perfect world, we could have marched all the way to Oberdeen and taken Teldrassil before they could even slow us down. But it matters little. Nafirin will try to hold us back until his fleet returns from Silithus. Until then, his army is too small. If only we could find a path along these damn wisps. I have an idea. Let's have a chat with Sarafang. There will be nowhere to run when you next to me to Mount Furion. To Zoramgar, quickly! Great. I'm surprised you don't have a flying mount. You seem like the kind of person that should probably have a flying mount. Even Garrosh had a flying mount. But I suppose you just teleport. 
Alrighty. To Zongar. Is this where week one ends? Hmm. Not. Uh, it might be, actually. This might be where week one ends. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think of what could come next. Because I know the helicopter thing comes back. Uh, I know the actual end. I suppose there'd probably be this whole sacking of Teldrassil that happens at some point. Because for the record, we are successful in taking Teldrassil. Or are we? <gasps> Who knows? Sarvang! Ripe for the picking. The Calderai have begun to reinforce Darkshore. Our path to Teldrassil will be more difficult than we anticipated. War Chief. Mafirin knows. Mm. Hushy face. Mafirin knows that his Wisp War will temper is a temporary measure. He is buying time for reinforcements to arrive in Teldrassil. It is imperative that we find a way through the war and quickly. I want you to take our explosive reserves and apply pressure. You will not be able to bring it down, but you may be able to find us an opening. I have a squadron ready to strike once you break ground. Zarvik Blastwicks should have a few bombardiers for the job. Bombardier! Surely it is nothing our dark rangers and a few demolishers cannot overcome, my lady. The no, scouting what? party I led to Malfurion underestimated the Wisps, and they paid the price for doing so. We cannot destroy the Wisps, not in numbers enough to matter, but we may be able to disperse them. Interesting. The Wisps respond to Malfurion's call, but what if more of the forest were to cry out for help? Hmm, okay. Bombardier. There you are, buddy. Hey, I have one of those. What's up? Uh, the war chief wants to scare off the wisps, eh? I have just the thing. You want to fly this thing, or do you want to drop the bombs? Let's fly. Oh, I thought I was gonna fly that. I don't know. I was kind of hoping I'd get to fly the zeppelin thing, but never mind. Boo! <laughs> oh, really? Don't mind me, I'm just scrolling up a thing here. Alright, so... Okay, so we kill trees and wisps, I get it now. I understand. Did that tree really... No, it's a different tree. Oh wow, another tree is growing though. Yeah, interesting. Kill the wisps, they're not dying. Let's go for a little fly, shall we? Because we can't fly. No. Whoop, okay, we're done already. <laughs> that did not take long. Blimey. Oh, excuse the squeaky chair. This old thing needs replacing so badly. And now they're outside again making noise. God damn it, children. God damn. Oh, okay. We're going through the... Hmm. Okay. Wait, where were we just on the other side of the wall there? We were, weren't we? So why don't we just fly over? We have an airship. We have normal ships. That wall only extends the land. Eh, never mind. That's... I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. How did it go? It went well, I guess. Mm. Now is the time to strike, Osborne. Passing through the wall will not be easy, but I think it's something you can handle. Do what you must to prevail, and meet me on the other side. I will lead a squad of sturdy soldiers, and as many demolishers as can survive the passing. We may not make it to Darnessus today, but the outcome of this war does not rest on one victory alone. It will come as the result of a thousand small victories. So let's get started, shall we? Seems the wisps are susceptible to distraction. We will exploit this weakness to get past them. Sarfang, take a squad into Felwood. Seek a path over the mountain into Darkshore. But leave the siege weapons under my command. 
We will squeeze Malfurion from both sides. War Chief, there is no safe passage through Felwood. Find one or make one. Time is a luxury we do not possess. No many smugglers, light collar. I beg your pardon. I am not naive. There is little chance that Everlook receives all its cargo through legitimate means. Someone is using a hidden route through Felwood. Most smugglers would prefer to avoid the attention of the High Overlord. But I believe we can locate one who can be persuaded to assist us. Then it is decided. Well then. Sawfang, Nathanos, you will leave at once. Well then.